So I'm excited to show you one of my favorite strategies on how you can get more clients for your social media marketing agency. And these methods, you probably have heard about them before, but they're still super effective. Maybe some of them will be new to you, but this is what I'm using as well to get more clients, to connect with more people and offer my services. So the first one, I would like to talk about Black Hat World Forum. So this is actually the place where back in 2000, I think like 14, I went there and started to see more about the tools, about the platforms, about like how everything works. And this is a great place for you to just go there and find new tools, find new platforms, and then eventually use them. And then you can offer services to your clients. So when you appear in Blackhead world, you can go to the social media. So you can go to the marketplace, social media, and afterwards you're going to see all the topics, threads, which are pretty much paid threads, right? So services, platforms, uh, any other, you know, digital products as well they are there and you can see them and eventually people are using them buying them and you know you can also list your services there too so this is a great place and you can also read about marketplace advertise and more information i do believe there was a fee of 500 per year that you have to pay but honestly once you're in the first page of those uh you know among those services you're gonna be getting a lot of leads a lot of clients a lot of sales every single day so take a look at yourself what the services are out there usually it's those kind of services which you're not going to really find publicly right so then people are not going to talk about them publicly but still you're going to find for example mass dm tool which i was talking to you in the previous videos sendm.com so that's one of them and then there's other tools for example jarvi follow liker all these automation tools they're obviously there you can see some verification, Facebook ads, help with the Facebook ads. There's actually an agency which is zero penny Facebook, Instagram uh, ad agency, and they're really good. So they actually, uh, a lot of clients, a lot of people, agencies are using them for outsourcing Facebook ads and they're super effective as well. So take a look at yourself and eventually uh, you can go ahead and create your own uh, thread like this. So let me just show you how it looks. Obviously you can design the way you want it to be, right? It could be as simple as text, it could be visual, and then eventually they have strict policies which you have to mention uh, what it does. And then you have to offer some review copies and make a discount for Black Hat World members, right? So those are the things. And then once it's approved, then you're gonna get started to get more flow of traffic. So also uh, when you have the thread posted here, there's also an option where you, you, they can pin it, right? So that's always on the first page. So that way it's an extra fee, but that way it's always gonna be in the first page. So take a look at that as well. Uh, most of the, yeah, pretty much uh, half of the services here are pinned. So this is one place. So once again, you can list out your services if you're, let's say, an agency, if you have some, you know, even for example, there is a manual growth agency here too. So, um, you know, it doesn't need to be a software, doesn't need to be a platform. It could be just a service which you're offering to your clients, let's say follow on follow service. And there is a service like that here as well. So and also actually a digital product too. So there's a digital product listed in this uh, thread as well. So this is one of the ways. The second way is actually uh, a little bit, you know, new for me because I haven't been using this before, but I started to use this in the last few weeks and that's using your TikTok account. So you can find a lot of customers. Well, it could be once again for your Instagram, for your TikTok as well, but this is a great strategy to find those clients. So you have to go to discover, right? And then when you type, let's say just an example, real estate, right? So I'm going to click on real estate. I'm going to see a bunch of uh, obviously videos here. You want to go to the videos, right? And then you want to click on this top right filters and then you go to the past day and then you go to the most liked, right? And then you click apply. So after that, you're going to see all these videos. Of course, the first ones, you know, it's huge. People are already have a huge engagement exposure. So you want to go and scroll all the way down. So pretty much where you're going to see maybe like 30 likes, 20 likes, maybe, you know, 10 likes and things like that. So for example, let's say we are approaching, uh, okay, we have 28 likes on this one. Uh, if I click on the profile, okay, so this is might be just a new profile. 
So let's say, for example, uh, if I click on this one, she has 24 likes, click on her profile, okay. So she's a realtor, uh, San Diego, right? So, and she has an Instagram profile here. So, and both YouTube as well. So I can go to her Instagram and I can send her a DM, right? So the DMing strategy is probably one of the most effective strategies, right? And you can find people on Instagram uh, directly through the search as well. But this is actually finding them on TikTok could give you a chance to work with them on the TikTok account plus on the Instagram account as well. So this is a great strategy because look, literally you just go and, th and those people you can see they are just getting started, you know, they, like they don't have a lot of engagement. So they're probably struggling with TikTok and they need help, right? So of course, not every single person is gonna attach their Instagram, right? But most of them will. And if you search for this person, let's say on Instagram, you're probably gonna find their profile as well. So let's just scroll a few more people here, right? So once again, not everyone is attaching their Instagram, but most of the people are. So that way you can still find them. For example, this one, um, okay, this one is not also attaching his Instagram. Uh, let's say, for example, this person, she doesn't have an Instagram as well. Uh, let's say this one. Actually, interesting because obviously a lot of people are, they do attach Instagram, so it's a little bit sometimes unusual. For example, this one, again, right? They have an Instagram account and that's where you can connect with them. So the best way is honestly not to send a DM on TikTok because TikTok is quite spammy with the DMs and there's a lot of spam in the DMs, but it's better to connect with them on Instagram. So you just go to their Instagram and send them the DM on Instagram, right? So, and another strategy is of course, using Instagram DMs, right? So you can just literally go to your DMs, you can go for the search, you can search specific hashtags, specific things, and that's what is gonna give you the results, right? So for example, in this case, I can type real estate, for example, here, and that's gonna give me an options, for example, for uh, hashtags, right? And once again, don't go to the top ones because the top ones super competitive, but if you go to the most recent ones, right? So like right here, that's where you can find those people who you can potentially work. So obviously real estate is a huge, uh, hashtag, right? There's millions of posts are coming, but still that's how you can find those clients and send them the DM. Also just some of the tips, like when I'm sending DMs to uh, new potential clients, right? What I do is that you need to make some homework. So you need to look at the person, you need to look what they do. Maybe they have a podcast, maybe they have something, you know, that you can mention because imagine you're approaching someone and saying like, let's say, Hey John, uh, I really like your book, you know, I really enjoyed it. I actually enjoyed what you have talked about specific ways, right? So when you actually start to be more in details with the potential person, the response rate is gonna be skyrocketed, right? So it's gonna be not like 40%, it could be like 90%. So you have to make sure because most of the people, they're gonna read your message. But the thing is, are they gonna say accept or decline or delete, right? That's another thing. So you wanna make sure you send them a message that they will read it and then it will make them say want to say thank you to you as well right so in other cases i found very useful is when you send voice messages so don't send just voice messages send a text message and then say a voice message right so it's basically a mix so they can see a text first and then in the voice message they can hear and understand who you are what you do and you know more information about what you're trying to offer so that's my tips and make sure very important to do the homework, right? You know, you can't just approach someone, hey, this is my service. You have to, and usually it's not gonna happen instantly, right? So you have to, you connect with the person on day one. Let's say you can follow up on day three. Maybe they will get back to you on day four. You have some conversation, maybe day 15 or 20. That's where it becomes your client, right? But imagine it's all about in social media marketing, as an agency, it's all about building relationship with clients, right? You wanna make sure your clients are gonna be staying for not just the one month, but for several months, right? That's why it takes some time to build that initial relationship. So guys, let me know what you think about these strategies, if you've been using maybe them, if you have found this useful. So feel free to click uh, on Instagram, on my Instagram and connect with me there. And thank you again for watching this video and see you in the next one.